Factorising quadratic equations. In each of the questions in this particular exercise, there are no numbers in front of the x squared. Well, there is a 1 technically placed in front of here, but when you're looking at it, it appears as if there is no number here. That's what you've got to look for when you're using this technique. Make sure that there is just an x squared with no number in front, then a number with an x, and then a number on its own. If you see a quadratic in this pattern, then you can use the method I'm going to show you now. The method I'm showing you now involves the two numbers that you can see here, the 6 and the 5. You've got to think of two numbers that multiply to give you plus 6 and add together to give you plus 5. In this particular case, the two numbers are plus 2 and plus 3. The signs are very important. Now that you've discovered what the two numbers are, you simply pop them into two separate brackets. In each bracket, you must have an x at the start, and then you place each of these numbers in each bracket. So in this one, I'm going to put the plus 2 in, and in this one, I'm going to put the plus 3 in. This is your answer. Let's have a look at the second example now. In the second example, again, there is no number in front of the x squared, and the two numbers we are looking at are minus 12 and minus 4. You need to think of two numbers that multiply to give you minus 12, and at the same time, add together to give you minus 4. These two numbers involve a 6 and a 2. And the only way you're going to get a minus 4 when you add them together is to make the 6 negative and the 2 positive. Minus 6 times plus 2 gives you minus 12. Minus 6 plus plus 2 gives you minus 4. And now we're done. So into your brackets once again. Two brackets. An x at the start of both. And then you fill the brackets with each of these. The order is not important. So I'm going to put my minus 6 in here, and I'm going to put my plus 2 in there. Let's have a look at the final example here. In this one, the two numbers are minus 20, and here, although it's difficult to see, like we said before, there is technically a 1 in front of that x. So the other number is plus 1. Minus 20 and plus 1. Two numbers that multiply to give you minus 20 and at the same time add to give you plus 1. These two numbers are 4 and 5. Because we want to make a plus 1 when we add them together, we have to have a minus 4 and a plus 5. Minus 4 times plus 5 gives you minus 20. Minus 4 plus plus 5 gives you plus 1. Once again, into the brackets and the order is not important. Just got to remember to place an x at the front of both the brackets and choose one to go in each. Minus four and plus five. In an exam, if you have time, once you've finished answering the question, use FOIL or expand in the brackets in another way, if you know another way, to check that your answer is correct.